for a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more. You're listening to the BCC Podcast. It is Wednesday, July 5th, 2017, and you're listening to episode 108 of the BCC Podcast. I'm LQ, and joining me today are my fellow crew members, Glenda. Hello. A lot of stuff to talk about today. Thank you for that generic intro. Mace, you didn't give me much. How can you do- Hello. <laughs> Usually you say how are you or something like that. You didn't give me much. Never mind, you beat Mace. Hey, okay. I wasn't going to talk over people. You're so nice like that. It's supposed to be your time to talk, technically. Yes. This is where you show your personality My to the world. My personality is blank and quiet. <laughs> That's probably the opposite of your personality, honestly. True, but they don't need to know that. Literally, the term mace is when you're just, if someone is sitting in chat talking and no one's responding <laughs> to it. Yeah, so I'll keep talking anyway. <laughs> yeah, like... Sometimes I wake up and, like, at 3 a.m., you're going on about something <laughs> while no one else is on. Yeah, whenever there's something that... The is a bit of mace in your... When there's something that has to be said, I will say it, whether someone listens or not. <laughs> Sometimes it's just random stuff about dimensions. <laughs> well, there we go. Ah, that game got me excited back in the day. Back when it was still alive. <laughs> oh, so you can see it. But... Also joining us is our last crew member is Malaris. Last of the last one. <laughs> Welcome back, Mal. That, that Technically, we're the last survivors Welcome this back. summer. <laughs> oh, thank you. Literally, we and I have got what, three episodes, counting this one, until I'll be gone for a few of them. Okay. Luckily for well, me, I don't have a life, nice so I won't be leaving. I'm trying to think, when's the last time I... Is there ever in a podcast without me or Ford on it? I don't in know. In the beginning, I'm sure. Yes, there the was the count. one <laughs> where I had to uh, do the uh, oh, yes, there was master one, of ceremonies. There. And that was that during spring break? I have no idea. Sounds Maybe. legit. It was like when the Minecraft sets were just coming out. So Man, that was a long um, time ago. I was not there for that one. It must have been during spring break because I think that's the. I think I've only missed one podcast this year. You know, maybe two. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, Trying. I missed more than two. I can tell you Did that. I? But I only miss it if I'm ill. I think I skipped out on one last minute because I was going to a dinner party. I know I missed the other because I was gone for spring break, and that's also the day or the day after that I met Leo and Mace. And yeah. You were busy. But, hey, you met Mace recently, too, didn't you? Uh, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that, uh, that happened, so <laughs> that I was, was down thing. in Orlando. I didn't think it would happen, because I'm like, well, I'm jam-packed, and he had work, and our schedules really didn't correspond. In fairness, you made him sit around for like seven <laughs> hours playing video games. To be fair, sure. uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't be fair. <laughs> I did get to see the last night while I was waiting. That was good. I didn't realize you saw it that day. Me and Orion actually met up yesterday and saw I saw it first yes. of all. Actually, oh, Mal well, saw it before me. has been a twice. nice meeting. Larry, you should have gotten there earlier and saw it with him. Well, I was doing my writing competition, and then I had to go to another competition that I had already signed on but i didn't know it was that day so i was confused you see unlike me but Mal yeah, had it worked life. out we got to go to the lego store for like 20 minutes and then he left <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember you saying something about your dad saying we can't offer him food because that would be rude <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're I left right at twenty here. minutes uh, because podcast. it Mace is a very prestigious rich time. guy. He's gonna be offended if you offer him food. <laughs> Are you suggesting that he can't pay for it himself? <laughs> I don't mind free food. Shame. No. But yeah, it definitely felt like um that was the time to go. It was a family thing you guys had going. <laughs> Didn't want to intrude. <laughs> Your family creeps him out. No, Apparently. no, I just didn't want to intrude on them. 
Did you guys get anything at the Lego store? Yes, yes I actually did. I got the Bounty Hunters uh, Battle Pack. Oh, you did get... And you got the uh, Carbon Freezing Chamber recently, too, didn't you? Yeah, so... Because those go really I nice haven't too, opened right? either of them. I haven't started building, but... You still haven't done the Carbon Freezing Chamber? What was that, like, three weeks ago or so? <laughs> to be fair, I have been awfully busy, awfully stressed, and it's... And no thanks to you guys, <laughs> <laughs> but... It's been uh, awfully awful. Yeah, I've been jam-packed, so I haven't really found a time to sit down and devote some time to just chilling. So, yeah, now that I'm kind of... I guess after I'm done turning in all my uh, do stuff for this um, upcoming two days, <laughs> and I'll probably feel more chill and get to... At least the Bounty Hunter pack, because that's smaller, and I think I'd manage it better. And Mace, why do I you got have... both of the new Spoderman sets. Spoderman? <laughs> Spoderman. Uh, the Vulture, yeah. he makes the other one look so bad. But, in the old one's defense, he doesn't have 50 bricks attached to his back. <laughs> So I forget what other set did they release the vulture in? Um, it was a uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, set, it was the Doc Ock um robot thingamajig. No, wait, in Ultimate Spider-Man, the vulture was a young guy, not the old guy. Yeah, so it was. Everyone's stylized. younger in Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah, you're right. He was I a like goth. Better now. I see the new one they're coming oh, out with. Goodness. He was um, some th sort of goth mutant in Ultimate. Yeah, I haven't seen that one, but I did see Spectacular Spider-Man. It's I not saw out Ultimate yet. There's only a clip. Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh some... yeah, that's still like the '90s yes, uh, Spider-Man best. Spectacular was spectacular. I think the '90s Spider-Man is on um, Hulu. I should watch it sometime. It's um, pretty good if you can get past the dollar store animation budget. <laughs> I actually think I can embrace that. Good. <laughs> then you should hope maybe <laughs> enjoy it. Because that's the one the Universal Ride's based mm -hmm. off of too, right? Yeah, it used to be like completely off of that artwork, but now it's like modified to be less like it, but still has basically so, Did the part everything. inside the ride used to be like that artwork too? I mean, the 3D, they still had different characters. Like, didn't they have the Green Goblin at one point, and now he's the Hobgoblin? But I it's essentially was the same ride, guy. just I think it was, uh, different 3D people. I think it was Hobgoblin, and then Green Goblin, and then Hobgoblin, and then Hobgoblin again. Ah, such confusingness. <laughs> so I'm guessing Green Goblin was around the time that the Tobey Maguire movies came out, yeah. right? Hobgoblin had I mean, a bigger yeah. presence in the 90s show than Green did, for some reason. Did in he? fact, he came... In the 90s? I thought I Green like got way more time. At least chronologically. I mean, I'm thinking of, like, IDS. I... No, not IDS. I keep... I always get him in Bionicle NP confused because they're all both just letters. <laughs> 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 uh, like we say that's a BCC, <laughs> but... Yep. Anyway, uh... Um, yeah, Bionicle NP, uh, you know, he does a ton with the 90s Spider-Man Pohatu in his yeah. videos. Yes. And, like, I know all of my lore I've gotten from that has been from those videos. <laughs> like the part where Pohatu it's the Hobgoblin suit and then it becomes a green goblin's Pohatu. <laughs> That's what well, I know Chronologically, about Hobgoblin came well, long before It's green a really goblin. great show. The editing is a bit weird and... Like, it was when CGI was being kind of weirdly introduced into uh, cartoons, the so there's, like, weird shots of the CGI city, and then it's jarring against, like, the hand-drawn city, but, mm -hmm. like, it's really great storytelling, I feel, like, and all the 90s uh, Marvel shows are in, like, the same universe, so it's, like... It's like all the 90s, 90s anything is really weird-looking. Yeah, but 90s had some good quality junk coming out, despite all the weirdness. Well, well it, it really does. I cartoons didn't are bad, all well but... and good, but we should probably get back to Mace's sets. <laughs> well, uh, back yes. to we were talking about them? It came with yes. the oh, okay. worst shocker imaginable. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. You know, I saw that. You're set. more negative about that shocker than most people seem. I don't think he's that bad. All either. he has are the yellow <laughs> arms. Not one single piece on his entire body is even remotely similar. The shocker. 
He has no mask on. He has no just... gloves on. The gauntlets don't count. They're just recolored Harambe hands. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has gray pants. That doesn't count. He has um, a black vest on. Um, why didn't they just give him the... I actually really like his torso print. <laughs> but it's not Shocker. It's black. It's not, it's not Shocker. Shocker in the movie well, has a yellow hoodie movie. on. Not a black one. Maybe he has a black one at some point during the movie. But why not base it off the good Shocker from the movie? This is the most savage I've ever seen you, Mace. <laughs> Oh, he's been worse. <laughs> he, whenever Spider-Man comes up, he he just rips anyone apart who disagrees. Oh. <laughs> Mace, no. what do you think of the Iron Man figure? Because that's like based off the Homecoming Iron Man suit, which I don't know how I feel about, and uh, it also doesn't have Tony. No, head. it does not. All it has is yeah, blue it's... on the inside, which means it might be Friday rather than Iron Man. Yeah, I was kind of yeah. thinking maybe. It's maybe kind of just playing for set value. You know, though. um, the. <laughs> Homecoming Spider-Man head, actually, the eyes are positioned perfectly for being inside the Iron Man helmet. Who knows, maybe he wears the Iron Man suit during this scene. Well, from what I've saw seen in the trailers, I haven't seen the movie yet, but his suit's basically Iron it Man's is. suit. It is. Well, yeah. Oh. There's the movie MCU suit. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, honestly. We have a whole podcast just dedicated to Spider-Man. Mm. But... He comes as this cool little cell phone. Right, yeah, it's basically the Iron Spider. Yeah. Iron Spider. And then what do you think of the vehicle? Oh, the vehicle's really cool. It has a lot of unique things. It has two different crates in the back. One with the MacGuffin of the movie, which I won't say because it might spoil some of the plot. But yeah, it comes with the MacGuffin in the back. And one of the weapons. You know how there's a bunch of weapons, weird weapons in these sets? Don't know if you guys know that. Yeah, that's why people thought there's going to be Craven the Hunter. Yeah, so there are a bunch of weird weapons in this set, and one of them does come in the back of this truck. Very solid build, and I like how there's enough room for Shocker's gauntlets to hold the steering wheel. He doesn't have to take them off to drive. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's cool. And the um, retractable gun and works very well. And I you got well. the other set too? Yes, I did. The bank. The bank is so <laughs> tiny, but, you know, it's not bad, actually. It's much better in person. It comes with ATMs that explode out of the back. It opens up exploding windows. Two unique weapons. Um, the thugs are much better than Shocker, let me tell you that. Um, <laughs> the green motorcycle they come with with the golden tires. And that's I've never seen that combination on a Lego bike before. Pretty cool. Um... Not much bad with so, the bank, other than the fact that it's small. It could be bigger, but other than that, it's a good set. Well, that's always so you get cool. a lot of bank for your buck? Yes. Well, you know it's or not you small. you don't get a lot of bank what? for your buck? The new LEGO Creator London bus set. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, this was revealed earlier this week. Um, it was... Darn it, I just totally lost my train of thought. It will be retailing for $140, about the price of an old modular building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I believe it comes with around 10,000 pieces, if I'm correct. Which is pretty Yes, I am correct. It's 10,258 pieces. It's a very nice set. Now, here's an issue I have. LEGO is releasing a lot of very nice sets that are huge. <laughs> <laughs> they're nice, but they're so expensive. I mean, this is a good price for piece ratio, but remember how I said if they made the antique fishing store set, I'd mm -hmm. buy it? Yeah. Well, then we got all the Ninjago movie sets. True, true. Yeah. And I, as much as I love the antique fishing store, if I had to choose between that and the Destiny Bounty or even better Ninjago City, I'm going to have to choose one of those. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. only have so much to choose from. You only have so much money. I mean, obviously, I could only buy, like, one of those sets, maybe. So many sets, so little cash. You know, a lot of the... Well, I'll get to that later. What do you guys think of the London bus? Anything of interest? I've never out? been a Double fan of this. Uh, I like the coloration, like, the nice red. Mm -hmm. Just very... Very nice looking. I've never been... It's not the night bus, so, but... I like the build. It's very... <laughs> Very, it, it holds together well. 
It doesn't you know, I'd always look to, like it. I had a ton of money. I'd love to get like this and Big Ben. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because the Lego Big Ben is a really awesome set. That would be Oh, nice. by the way, Ford thinks the London bus is boring, and he wants to make sure everyone knows <laughs> that. I don't know. I like it, but I really like Lego vehicles, so... You know, I've... Like, well. it, it looks nice, but it's like, ah, eh, what am I going to do with it? Put it on display? Not really. There's better sets to put up on display. I mean, I... Like... No, I'd say this is a very good set for display, I said it, I'd say it's good for display, and it's good for rolling around. You know, I've never for that price. I'm not gonna have it rolling around. <laughs> See, Ford agrees with me at least. <laughs> I've never been a fan of this scale. It's not too many big scale. It's not too um. It's well. This really, is an expert. It's pretty big. You know, series one. This is meant for adults, not kids. Yeah, the but... age is just a recommendation. LQ. They have to put it on <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of the ones that literally says sixteen and up. Ah, uh, any so, yeah. any adult who is grabbing Lego sets is going to have many things. There's too. some really cool details on the inside too. There's like this ticket, the box, and a newspaper and a can of pop. Yeah, I'm not dissing it. I'm just not a fan of the scale. It's not too scale for anything. You can't put lights. Yeah. I mean, sure. <laughs> I I think the scale like benefits. You could get more detail in the scale. This would not be a, as cool of a set in smaller scale. It could scale. be a little bigger. You can put mice in it. <laughs> it's about the scale to put mice in. That's true. You know, and honestly, um, I'm a huge fan of Professor Layton, as you mm-hmm. guys know. What I would yeah. love to do with something like this is this would be the perfect scale to, like, make Professor Layton and Luke Mox and stick them in there. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. I would love to do that <laughs> if I had this if you set. Had that would money. be so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I had the money. If I ever get a really good job, Lego's going to make so much money. <laughs> <laughs> Take all my money. <laughs> they don't make money off of me. No, just what else to am I going to spend money? I always buy secondhand. Like, I'll probably like be the kind of parents who will buy my kids really big sets, mostly because I want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need my help, little Jimmy. You know, as I was mentioning earlier, um, a lot of the Direct to consumer sets are being retired soon. Uh, that's a shame. Is it oh, not? Yeah. yeah, I heard that. One of them is one I've wanted to get for a while the Palace Cinema, which, uh, as much as I want, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it now. Yeah. I'd, get it. I'd choose yeah, Destiny a... Bounty over the Palace Cinema, even though I love that. Maybe set. one day you can get it. Yeah, it's a cinema. It's always set. like been one of the sets are like, gee, this is great set, but it's also like, uh, I saved enough money and now i'm gonna put it somewhere else mm-hmm. so it's True. weird like that it's it's really gorgeous set and it's been out it's for very since good. like 2014 and people still obviously love it but mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. It, it's just one of those things that are like i guess right on the dot where it's too expensive to have now and then when you get enough money you want to put it somewhere else and to a different set or something so i just never got mm-hmm. enough money <laughs> <laughs> but well, among all else is being retired is both the simpsons yes. uh, sets are being retired which they've been out for a long time yeah mace really hates those sets <laughs> <laughs> i think they're actually pretty nice sets oh they are great um, builds uh, but a bad franchise star wars uh tie fighter ucs <laughs> also being retired I was never really a fan of that. I think there's been better Star Wars UCS. Mm, yeah. Does anyone remember Better the 1999 just... UCS, guys? <laughs> oh, man, that was something special What about there. the black and blue <laughs> coloration oh, of the TIE Fighters? That's, man, that's classic. Like... And then also being retired is the Shield Helicarrier. Never been a huge no. fan of that one. It's the wrong scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's the wrong all... scale. But it's hard to do an actual scale model. It's already got so Yeah, it'd be, it's almost impossible. I just thought for $350... It's not something I. It looks want. too yeah. clunky Much too. As big of a Marvel fan as I You'd am. You'd expect better streamlining from a set in this day and age that is that expensive. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I already have the Shield Tower Carrier, so. Also, um, the Batman classic TV series Batcave is already being retired, according to the. That's Batman. a shame. It's a really cool set. <laughs> I should have mentioned that all of these. Uh, listings come from the brick band who's been told this by a reliable source and i've rarely ever seen the brick fan wrong yeah 
well the also um the classic series batman is on sale for 215 dollars that's 54 dollars off and double vip points is already over i think now Hmm. which is sad i was gonna say we had time to pick one of these up but anyway either way if you want to get one of these sets get them now there's some good sets here still and it'd be a shame to miss out on them and wait till they're like tw- twice the price on ebay <laughs> yeah. so join us after the break and we're going to get to the lego ninjago movie news of the week which is probably is gonna be a weekly thing until the movie comes out and mm-hmm. yeah stay tuned Have a question or comment you'd like us to answer on the podcast? Just send us an email at thebccpodcast at gmail.com. Welcome back to the BCC Podcast. It is time for some Lego Ninjago movie news. This week, we've got a couple new promotional items coming out, new posters, which I believe were released last week, but we didn't have a chance to get to them, and as well as a little bit of an uh, update on something I said last week that I wasn't quite right on. So, let's start with that, actually. Let's start with the posters and what I was talking about. Um, anyone else want to introduce the posters? I always introduce the topic. Um, well, we got some posters. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'll do it. <laughs> no. Yeah, sure. Okay. We got new Lego Ninjago movie character posters, each of which features a main character from the movie and a brief description of their character. Okay, I was wrong about something again. These came out the day after we recorded the podcast last week. Uh-huh. So yeah, each one like Linda said, each one has the character and something on these, and I realize now I was even more wrong. I believe was it last week or was it further back? I was talking about, I'm not sure if the ninja have elements in the movie. They do. <laughs> At least to some extent. Because these posters have their elements. Like, be water, be earth, be f- lightning. I feel and like it's supposed to be also, some sort I, of really weird joke. Then I thought of something. Um, Wasn't Kai's mech named the fire mech? I think so? Yeah, I think so. Kai's oh, fire mech, something like that. Okay, I have a question yeah, about this, actually, I before we get into her. these. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm still not um, clear if so. Oh, go on. Yeah, um, since all the villains, except for Garmadon himself, are water villains, shouldn't Nia be the most powerful one here? Well, they already did that. It was called Possession. Well, I know, <laughs> I, I saw that. Though I'm thinking if they're having water-based villains and they have a ninja of water, that seems a little... Mm. Well, wouldn't she be the least powerful then because, like, they're used to the water? Either that or she'd have a leg up because she... I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do I mean, I don't see it. exactly why water would be more powerful against guys dressed in shark outfits. <laughs> I don't know. She can drain the water out of their mouths. Zane will win. Because they're they're not real fish. They're water. just guys in shark outfits. <laughs> Besides, even in that case, they don't breathe water. Or do mm. they? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Conspiracy revealed. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway... So we got a poster for each of the main characters, yeah. Lloyd, Kai, Cole, Jay, the Zane, others. And then we also got them Nia. for, oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> Nia because she's not the only one. Yeah. Um, Wu, Garmadon, she... and Misako. Oh, she's known according to these well, posters, she's... Coco. Yeah, I think that that's a word for mother. Ah. I don't remember which language it is though. I know it's I'm not Japanese. I'm pretty sure it's just... A nickname for Hopefully, Misaka. hopefully, yes. <laughs> uh, That's possible. Because they've already called her Misako in other sets. That's true. Okay. So, um, among the character descriptions, I mean, nothing incredibly interesting stands out to mm-hmm. me. I, it did for me on two different occasions. Um, uh, which two different occasions? With Cole and with Zane. Ah, uh, yes, the Cole one. I liked the Cole one. It um, seems they are really going all in with this whole music thing of his. Yeah, and 
Evidently, Cole is now jazz. I don't know. Um, his mech has built-in turntables and a powerful ghetto blaster. I mean, subwoofer. <laughs> I can't believe that's and... the real name for it. <laughs> so now he's the ninja of Sonics. I don't know. No, we've kind of known this throughout that Cole was like that, especially when we saw his minifigure the other day. Yeah, I just didn't well, expect yeah, them I mean, to go got that so thing, um, full yeah. into it. They're like yeah, exactly. going hard at this music theme. They're going all the way. Mm-hmm. But you know why he has the music? Yeah, I mean, it, just, it didn't just surprise me with this description because I feel like everything we've gotten so far already pointed He likes ACDC that. because they're rock music. <laughs> No, that's true. There. That's the real reason. I'm not even. That's this isn't my pun. This is their pun. I know. I see you. This is this is most likely the reason. <laughs> okay. So, anything else? I mean, they're nice posters. Okay. Um. Can I say the other thing about Zane? Yeah. Sure. It says part boy, part ninjoid. So he's a cyborg. No, it's just, he's a robot, and that's just something they say. It says part boy, so, is it, is it Pinocchio? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a figure of speech. Mm. It's cool how he... I don't think... I think it's cool how he had the bow. I really doubt they'd make him a cyborg character. Okay, you know what I think is weird? At the very end of the description, it says, Don't call him a robot. Zane is quick to remind everyone that he's just a normal. Yes, I I got that. That's going to be a running joke in the Mm -hmm. movie, I'm sure. Um, Probably, honestly. I don't think it's a typo. (laughs) I like the... um... Well, I mean, I doubt it's a typo. I'm just trying to figure out what they're doing. He'll probably say when everyone calls him a robot, I said, I'm not a robot, I'm just a normal. It's like a certain and that's it. Bobo call that I once got. Upon asking if it was a real person, then it said, I am human being. <laughs> so convincing. I know, right? So let's move on to, well, actually not more interesting, um, also, just after our last recording session, the Lego Ninjago movie video game was announced to no one's mm. surprise. I've always felt that Ninjago deserved a real full video game, so I'm excited. I'm not. <laughs> You're never excited about these things. <laughs> it's just, the Lego movie video game was not that great. I never played it. And I feel like the same production value will be into be put in judging by the animation you are correct compare the animation to the lego marvel superheroes 2 animation they're the significant difference i did notice that this was pretty good quality animation at least while i was watching the short hmm. for the ninjago movie for the game oh for the game i don't know it felt normal ninja lego video game to me it really didn't feel like anything new hmm. so i never played the um lego movie one so i do not really have any pre-existing disappointment in that area <laughs> <laughs> i haven't played it either i know i have it though i i've never touched it because it's not it's, in my house. It's probably one of my least favorite Lego video <laughs> games ever. It's hard to explain why it's not good. It just feels very underwhelming all around. And the movie oh, okay. the movie did already do a good job of explaining everything. It's not like it needed to be stretched into a game as far as the Lego movie goes. Don't know about it. Yeah. <sighs> so let's move on to the stuff that's uh, slightly more interesting. I mean, nothing breaking like the sets lately, but... We have a couple of new promotional products, starting with the um, Ninjago movie Garmageddon. Garmageddon. It's like Armageddon and Garmageddon. Garmageddon, yeah. How clever. Yeah, Garmageddon Attacks activity book. And this book comes with Spinjitzu Training Cole, which adds to the list of Spinjitzu Training figures we've got, which include Nia in the minifigure series and Lloyd in the junior set. Mm Mm-hmm. And we are also getting the, um, 
Good. We will be getting the training Kai in the poly bag of the movie maker set. Yeah, he's gonna get that. Oh yes. <laughs> you told him to go ahead, so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I thought he was commenting no. on it, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of these Spinjitzu training ones because they're just, I believe, all the same generic outfit. Mm-hmm. But they're nice to collect. Yeah. They're not horrible or anything. Mm-hmm. They're nice in and of themselves, and it's a good design. At least I like it. So, makes them fit in with Wu better. Yeah. Then the. Yeah. The other one we have is like where Chai comes in is the Battle Pod. Um, the Ninjago Batman movie had these two, which I believe came with. Was it the tuxedo batman yes the tiger stripe I tuxedo think shirt so? you know what's funny is the front of it has like the traditional kai on it mm. not the movie kai <laughs> interestingly enough the new one isn't photogenic enough i don't know it's true have you seen his hair yeah i'm not sure what's up yes with that. <laughs> uh, actually maybe you've already hear, heard me complain about that but yeah looks like jay shocked him some of the other things are getting a master Wu keychain yeah, nothing special there. It's a keychain; they don't come apart. Sad. Yeah, they've been making uh, keychains. And then forever. we have the Ninjago movie, <clears throat> Lego Ninjago movie movie maker set. I yeah, guess. <laughs> just like the Batman one. So, this one comes with Spinjitzu training J, and that is completes your Spinjitzu training ones, I believe. Nope, Zane. I forgot Zane. Yeah. 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 Is there Spinjitzu training? Wait, have we gotten Spinjitzu training? Yeah, the main um, Zane, have we gotten that one? I think Oki okay, just said that. We no, have. that's one. That's one I just said. Yeah, we haven't gotten that one. Okay. Yet. Unless Ford is telling me I'm wrong in the chat right now. Yeah. Sure. Movie maker set comes with Kai. No, no that's not Kai. The that's movie Jay. maker oh, poly oh, bag oh, comes oh, with oh, Kai. Oh, the movie yeah. maker set comes with Jay. There's two different ones. Nope. Jay is in this movie maker picture, Ford. You are wrong. <laughs> then Kai comes in the battle pod. We are all laughing. <laughs> so, yeah, because it's called Kai's Dojo Pod. <laughs> it was clearly a typo in the name. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't see how Ford can be correct on this. Yeah. The poly bag is an add-on, according to Ford. <laughs> mm-hmm. What? But wait, the set still comes with J either way. <laughs> so, I'm not wrong. <laughs> but anyway, with these movie maker sets, I find it interesting how um, these seem to be a thing for every movie they make now. The Batman movie had one. Hmm. Does any other theme had one? I don't. Well, think which so. one is real? The top one or the bottom one here? <laughs> Ford's posting pictures of a different... What? Yes, how? Where'd that come from? It's the same one, but as Kai... <laughs> What's no, up? it's not the same one. It's... Oh, yeah, it's a totally different set. Is there two Movie Maker? Yeah, yeah. There's oh! A poly bag and a real he one. means the J is an add-on to the Movie Maker set. <sighs> Does that mean that Kai comes in two things? Quick, everyone, get we your t-shirt does, fridge ready. We need some Ford is right. Kai t-shirt. comes in the battle pod and. Well, you yes, Ford. Well, you're not on this podcast. And you could so... clear. So, say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, okay, I get it now. So that's what he meant by add on. I thought he meant. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spinjitzu training Kai seems to have a shoulder pad, which I can't see the color very well from this picture. And gunmetal? I guess gunmetal. It would be cool if we got it in gunmetal, because I have not, we've not gotten, wait, no, this Kai normally comes, is it normal, does it normally come in gunmetal or black in this one? Mm-hmm. The movie I do sets. not know. I, I haven't paid that close was, attention. I thought it was black, but I could definitely be wrong. Because we've gotten that piece in gold, brown, and silver before. Okay, I'm looking at the water strider, and it looks to be in gunmetal here. Okay. So it's the same one he normally has. Anyway, but yeah, it still doesn't solve the problem of a missing Zane. It's strange that Zane wasn't in one of these instead of the extra Kai in that case. Second wave? I don't know. I mean, possibly. 
Or there could there's probably another promotional item we just haven't seen yet, honestly. Also a valid option. Yeah. Maybe an exclusive. As I was saying with the movie maker says before we were thrown totally off track from that. Off track from what? Um, were we on track? I remember the Lego Studios set. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like the Jurassic like the ones a lot. Jurassic yeah, there was a Jurassic Park ones and then there was the Johnny Thunder ones yeah. and other Spider Man. Yeah, Johnny there was Spider Man. <laughs> so these are like the next iteration of that, except kids have gotten way more lazy in making their movies. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of actually the first Lego videos I tried to make, which were I'd tape a minifigure to a pencil <laughs> or a Game Boy charger. <laughs> I've seen people do that. I have not. But then again I do not get I around. Would... I wish Lego would kind of encourage more like stop motion type stuff. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah. Instead, of, like all the, you have a pretty good sized base plate there. I mean, and it even comes with a pretty nice mechanism for holding a phone. In. It does. Yeah. I like that. So you got all the pieces there. I mean, maybe it doesn't encourage stop motion because I haven't actually gotten into one of these sets before. Yeah, there is one for Batman. I wonder how this one compares to that one. Yeah, there was one for Batman. I didn't pay that close of attention. Neither did I. It's only $20. So. Yeah, but it it doesn't say too much about how it expects you to use it from the images we have. Yeah. Either way, it's a cool thing. And And I really wonder where that Zane's going to come out in at this point. Mm Mm-hmm. Because you say uh, second wave, but I'm pretty sure Ninjago is going back to normal after this one movie wave because we've got a confirmed season not eight or nine. I forget the number again. Um, but, yeah, coming out next year. I do not remember. Oh, yes, it was season... Uh, no, no, I lost it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure, sure um, Hands of Time was seven, so okay, yeah. Okay, season eight. Man, Sorry that's a long time. Sorry if this is a stupid time. question, but... So if this is a stupid question, but do you think that maybe since um, Zane is an android, then maybe he doesn't train? I don't feel like they... I feel like they wouldn't miss out on completing the set, even if that was the case. Okay. So. Just a thought, so. Plus, he is in the set spinjitsu training. <laughs> you know, the For outfits... Know that he's teaching Kai, so. Yeah, they don't have spinjitsu training outfits in the spinjitsu training <laughs> set. But that is the name of the set, if I remember correctly. I keep doubting myself after that thing last week. Yeah, it's been just training. Yeah, but how so, do we know yeah, that... he does train. How do we know that Zane isn't training Kai? Because... Zane well, is the master. Because no one can train Kai, it's impossible. <laughs> Attempting to train Kai. Attempting to train Kai is like trying to tame the mighty fire. I'm not sure what else we could get with Ninjago at this point. We've gotten a lot of promotional stuff. We've gotten the posters, the video game. I I feel like we're still going to get Ninjago movie news leading up to Music it, but track? I'm not sure what. I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't think that's going to break any news or anything, wow. though. I mean, I don't think we even talked about the Batman mm-hmm. movie one. I liked it. <laughs> You know, Spinjitz Training Zane now, I think, that could be released with the Blu-ray. Oh, like Batman that's Bruce true. Prison Joker. Oh. Who never skips So, yeah, that's, that's about it that I can think of we've got for the Ninjago movie news. Um, up next, we're going to be talking about the Lego Ideas Spotlight and Lurs has prepared a game for us. Yeah. Want to join in on the discussion? Join the BCC Crew Discord server. Link is in the description below. Welcome back to the BCC Podcast for our third and final segment. We're going to kick it off with our LEGO Ideas Spotlight of the Week and then get right to the game. So, Clinda, how about you tell the audience about our spotlight this week? Okay, this week we are going over the Waterfront Inn, and it is, as the name suggests, it's a little cottage inn place on the side of what is clearly a river or an ocean. 
And nearby there's what appears to be a Viking or a pirate ship. Okay. But it's well built. I like the color combination. And it, I think it suits the time period. Anyone? Yeah, it's a nice set. It's one I could see more so being a set because it fits in the part limit. Yeah, it's it's relatively straightforward, but it's also nice, and it's got a nice aesthetic and build. You know, I like that Viking <laughs> ship. It's a shame that Vikings did so poorly in North America. You know, that's the thing about the set. I wonder, though, I don't think they make that mold anymore. If they did make this a set, they'd have to redo what the boat is probably something smaller and not with a specialized yeah hull. yeah i had noticed that the hull looked unfamiliar to me and that's because i hadn't gotten the viking thing before uh, i liked vikings and you've yeah, never seen them. the old viking sets those are well it's been a very awesome. long time yeah they are very old them. sets and i could clearly tell that it was viking but i did not remember what exactly it was from i always wanted the midgard serpent set <laughs> but, anyway, it's, yeah like it's got a nice sorry, color go scheme very uh good and rustic mm -hmm. nice the gold green nice and green, brown red kind of tones that with the brown they all just like blend very well mm -hmm. wouldn't mind seeing that aesthetic so, in anything else later yeah and <laughs> the it's mini got, waterfall it's like, is also Pretty. It's got a good number of minifigures in it also. It's got eight different minifigs. Yeah, ah, uh, I'm not sure if they keep that count for the set or not. Well, probably Those ideas wouldn't, can surprise but, us. You know. <laughs> Alright, so we encourage you to go and check that out for yourself, and it is time for us to move on to the game. That was quick. <laughs> Malaris, you want to take that away? Alright. I had a great name for this, um... But I forget it, so screw it, <laughs> and uh, let's just get to the description. Speaking of description, that's pretty much the game itself. I will read to you guys a description from a particular set, and try to exclude as much of the set name as possible, and you guys have to guess by the description what set I am describing. Okay. So... Okay. Since right. we are in this Lego Ninjago mode, I decide to choose whole roster of Lego Ninjago sets. Oh boy, I've got this. Yeah. yeah. This gonna be I'm good. Doomed. It, the first one should be a very easy one, so. Let's read off the scoreboard first. The current scoreboard is LQ at 7 points, Leo <laughs> at 5 points, Not Linda at 9 points, Malaris at 4 points. Mace at 5.5 yes. points, Ford at 7.5 points, and all guests at 1. <laughs> 1. Mm. So, right. shall we begin Take it then? Away, yep, let's begin. Okay. Okay, this is our first set of the night. Join the ninja at the beautiful blank. <laughs> Enjoy the ultimate Lego Ninjago building experience as you construct the majestic blank and surrounding village. The This is totally the Temple of Erjutsu. Yep. Oh man, I thought we were <laughs> supposed to wait for Mal to finish. <laughs> no, just jump in whenever you gotcha. got it. So I will not wait All right. next time. Uh, I knew as soon as you said the ultimate Ninjago experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You had me at the ultimate in Ninjago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You're excited for this, <laughs> aren't you? Oh, he is. Easy he knows money. He's going to get every darn one. All right. Help Zane escape with the forward time blade under attack from Commander Ragmunk and Slackjaw. Vermilion Invader. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I know. I'm planning on getting that set soon. Man. <laughs> I might. <laughs> and plus, the forward time blade really gave it away because then you know it's Hands of Time and there's yeah. only one yeah. Zane in Hands yeah. of Time. Wow. I knew it I couldn't was Hands of Time. I just couldn't episodes. remember what it was. Yeah. Okay. Good That's why know. I don't have Zane. He's the... Him and Kai are the only ones I don't have from this current wave. Yet. All right. 
So, our next one. Oh my goodness, this is not right. Um, something's <laughs> wrong with this description. Uh. <laughs> okay, no, that that will not do. <laughs> it's only what one sentence of on? a description. <laughs> one sentence? <laughs> yes. Huh? What is the one sentence? I can get it from one sentence. Oh, fine then. Um, <laughs> hold on. Ones. I just had it up, and then I deleted it when you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> fly the to rescue Sensei Wu. Oh, oh okay. um, 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 <laughs> no, I can totally get titanium. this. Titanium. There's only a few sets. Titanium dragon. What? Sensei Wu wasn't even in that wave. I don't know. <laughs> no. There's only so many. That's possibly be. so flying and woo. That would be Destiny's Bounty, Woo Dragon. Um, Don't let him list everything. He's um, got the... like Tiger Widow Island. That also has flying and woo. I think it's going. At least Miss tried. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I don't believe it's any of those. No. Um, no. Wasn't it the Kai's Dragon? Wasn't there a Green Ninja? The. But... And green ninja NRG dragon? No. Kai's dragon? Kai? No. Oh, I was expecting maybe a $10 no. Kai dragon set. Hint for everyone, it's going to be a very cheap set. That's why it has a, such a small description. It's, it's not... a small set. <laughs> That'll do it. No. Is it? Am I right? No. I no. know where I'm going. I'm trying to remember which like, one it is. I think the description is just like it's a website, I think, but uh, it probably has a fuller description if I look for it okay. elsewhere. So let me do that, and then I can expound upon this because this is um, very, very strange for a description. I don't think it's very official. Okay, hold on. Oh, I feel like I know what this set is. You probably about. do, <laughs> obviously. Is it Misfortune's Keep? No. No. Okay, uh, it's not Misfortune's Keep. Um, can't. Oh, there it is. Because Misfortune Keep has Wu in the Jin Blade. Oh yeah, That's here's it. some more uh, description. I found some. Yay. You... So you want me to read it to you guys? Sure. Yeah. Let's okay. just go with it then. Fly the blank to rescue Sensei Wu, Frack Jaw and Cruncha. I've captured Sensei Wu and stole the nunchucks of lightning with Jay's their dragon. helicopter. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. That's not the set's name. Uh, <laughs> um, Temple of Light. No, Was it close? Oh, Jay and the fearsome. I know what it is, um, but I figure I'm going to let someone else get it. this way. and retrieve the golden weapon before. I forgot who was in that set. The Underworld. Um, Jay's dragon vs. Bone Copter. Battle? Lightning dragon what? battle? Yes, lightning dragon battle. Uh, okay. I say I should Sorry. get that one because that one sent the description. <laughs> but that was your fault. <laughs> that's not my fault. That's this website's fault. <laughs> why Why would you get a point for the website or in you messing up? <laughs> It's because, like, like I'm not get getting point any points whenever not I host a game. Not being is not what you get points for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tried last time, and I didn't. I lost a point last time because I wasn't prepared. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Gear up for battle at the Ninja's Underground Desert Hideout. Samurai X Cave. Um, oh. Yes. Finally. Wait, I knew that one, but I just wasn't fast enough. You're not fast enough, Barry. Barry! <laughs> run, Barry! Run. Run. Right. Faster, Barry! <laughs> you guys are saying that joke like the audience has a clue where it comes from. Ah, uh, the Flash is a popular do. enough TV show. They can just gather that one. Or a comic fun of book it. character, or. Well, I get yeah, know. but it's. You know. Yeah, but it just. Is it like an upcoming movie? Musical. I mean, yeah, they I know, the he flash, did a musical. It, was, it wasn't a very <laughs> no, nuanced that was awful. in joke. Screw that musical. 
It was literally the worst episode of The Flash ever. I, oh, I'm the only one who watched it and thought it was funny. You don't watch The Flash. So no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I still enjoyed right, it, let's though. Let's go on to the next one before someone gets hurt. <laughs> oh, is that a threat? Uh, no. <sighs> Just Take checking. on the Nindroids with the awesome... Titanium Dragon. No. Ah! Mace, that set does not exist in every it way. It would have been perfect it... timing <laughs> if it what, was, um, though. Because I already got okay, it wrong. What the Nindroid? So if it's right this what time. What the Nindroid? I didn't let him finish. Take on the Nindroids in the awesome blank. Take on the... Wait, was that it? Um, I mean, um, there's um, more description, but... Literally, that could be I, anything. Nindroid mech I derailed him in the middle. He hasn't finished. What? I don't think you'd the... take on the Nindroids in their own dragon mech. It'd be cool, though. <laughs> yeah, I would. Team up Cole and Jay against the Nindroids. Oh, I have this set. I just don't remember what it's called. A versatile ninja vehicle full of hidden surprises. Mm. Um, yeah, because it's the one with the coal mech and then the J tank, and the coal can go on back of the J. <laughs> Man, that coal mech was really bad. And... No, well, that's an I might awesome be mech. thinking of a different one. No, no, I was, I was thinking of the possessed coal mech. That was a bad mech. <laughs> nope, Cole doesn't have a mech in possessed. He's, uh, no, oh, he's oh, I know this one. I know this one. In the one. TV show, was, he possesses. It was. Mech it, was in the, it wasn't lightning. It was thunder something. Yeah, in the TV show, he uses the same mech. Okay, then yeah, set. that's the bad mech. Mace. <laughs> um, I like I don't. this mech. <laughs> it was. Oh, I have it on display right now. It was now. thunder <laughs> battle. Thunder something. <laughs> uh, thunder struck and out is, of the. <laughs> Indeed. I know what it is, but it... Uh. I have no idea. Yeah, I know exactly what the set is. I just don't know the name. I know half of the name. Yeah, I know if the set, but... None of you can procure a name, then I'm sorry. Oh, I'm lost here. Thunder don't worry Stri about me. Not Thunderstriker. I give up. Um, Thunder... Thunder Vader? The you looked it up. No. Admit it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was you a guess. Say, you can't say that. <laughs> it was a guess. You, you, could, you can't just do that to me. I did not look it up. Yeah. He crushed his dreams. So that's what it was? Is the Thunder Raider? Yes, the Thunder I would have called it the Thunder VTL. I should have went through Ninjago's generic naming convention. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of Raiders. Alright. I'm not doing as good as I should be doing. Let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> Get four super cool vehicles in one. <laughs> oh, um, Alter Stealth. Yeah. Oh, man. I was hoping that you would guess the wrong one and then I would say the other one. <laughs> For Mace, I own the Sonic and the Stealth Raider. The Sonic Raider doesn't break up. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm like, people. It's only two vehicles, oh, not man. four. I thought they would both fall. <laughs> now my hopes and dreams have been no. crushed. All right. You have more for us, Miller? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you doubt my abilities right now? Well. Yes. <laughs> well, in which case, I so just... Back. I'm done. <laughs> Help Zane to escape the mighty mech arms and weapons of oh, um... Titanium Dragon. <laughs> no, Mason is not the Titanium he Dragon. Said mighty mech arms. What is with you and that? He said set? mighty mech arms. The Titanium Dragon came out in Tournament of Elements. Oh, I was thinking of the Mech Dragon. It's not is it the Mech Dragon. <laughs> Is it? No. no. Okay. Me. It's so fun to hear you pretending to be patient. <laughs> I Mace know what, isn't um, being patient right now. No, I know I'm what the set is. It's again one that I can't remember the name of. Good. Destructoid. What? Destructoid. That's it. Dang it! <laughs> I don't even know what set he's vaguely talking about. I would not How'd you have get it from that. one sentence? It's it's one I almost got, but then that Zane came in a character You're book, screwing me over. So I got him that way. And it, it's, it's this really cool, like, mech tank thing that the Nindroids have. And it comes with Mindroid. Oh, yeah, the little guy. <laughs> well, yep. So. I don't even remember that set at all. I knew it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> We've got time for at least one more round, if you have it. Yeah. This is 
Hopefully a good one to end on. Okay. Help Zane to defeat the... And earn the Elemental Ice Blade. <laughs> elemental Ice Blade. Oh, um, Garmatron. Wow. Dang you. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. When you mention the MacGuffins, I know what set they go to. In which case, maybe I... next time I won't mention the MacGuffins. Yeah, don't do that. Like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I so wanted to say Titanium Dragon. Good... Well, if hey, you like the challenge, game. you could have said that earlier. That puts me in the lead, one point above Quenda. <laughs> How many points did I get in that? You got one, um, and I got one. You have nine before this, so you yeah. got. Three. Oh, you got three. I got three. I thought I only mm-hmm. got two. I only remember answering two. Unless I double counted something. Uh, you got the. I forgot. What uh, I got the one here. that Mal thought that I cheated on, <laughs> and I got the second. Totally one. cheated on it. Like, yeah, you got the. I don't know. Being caught up on a. Malaris is hosting the game, so he should have been keeping track. Yeah, you got the, the Thunder nope. Raider, and before uh, that, you got the single clue. You, you never I mentioned this in the job in the description. Audience, Clinda, you're editing <laughs> this. Tell us what it is, and then we won't correct it like normal when we say we're <laughs> going to correct it. So wait, I'm editing this. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought Mal was editing it. Oh yeah, that yeah. is right. Oh yeah, Larry, you're editing too this. Thought so he was editing. You <laughs> tell us who was right. Preserve the integrity of your game. There is no integrity. I got I should one just give you all one right? guesses next time. So probably. Oh yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, because then how can I say Titanium is... Dragon? Next time I'll do. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mace gets one extra guess because he'll always yeah, say Titanium Dragon. Next will go beyond Ninjago too, won't you? Oh, but that's kind of broad. If you just do all yeah. the sets. I think you would have to, if you're doing all the sets, you'd have to specify it's from this franchise first. With Ninjago, I do a lot worse because, well, I know the sets for most themes. I do not know the names for most of yeah. them. If we do go that wide, I'm we gonna have, have to, to accept. I should be studying more in my spare time. Lego history. Oh, I thought you meant school. Well, I'm doing other stuff in my spare time. I'm not looking up Lego sets and memorizing the names. <laughs> well, we should be because we're on a Lego podcast, so we should be I'm, furthering our knowledge above all the common... I'm doing other Lego stuff, my boy. We shall... There is no excuse. shall overshadow the normies. That's gonna about do it for us today. If you have any comment on anything we discussed in this episode, obviously leave it in the comments below. If you have a comment, comment it. I always leave the section blank for these guys to come in and say something in the end, but I don't think anyone's ever saying No, no, useful. only random junk. Why would we, <laughs> That would be offensive if it weren't useful. true. <laughs> You'd have to ask us to say something useful. You, you give us, us nothing to go on. No one asked me to say anything. I we say technically it. went through That's everything we boss. wanted to say in the beginning of the episode, so we're we're all use useful things. They're all gone. Useful. Yes, we're all useful. Doubt. Relative. So for so for Clenda, Mace, Malaris, and myself, LQ, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next good day. episode. Have a good one. And four. <laughs> and four.